Jolene, you were sexually abused as a teenager. What was going on? Um, I was. I grew up in a small town, Wayne, Nebraska, so northeast Nebraska, and had uh, close family friends. I always say more family than friends, and had worked for a gentleman as well as uh, babysat for their children as well. And there was a time period um, from when I was 15 to 16 where uh, while I was working for him, watching his children, that he would repeatedly sexually abuse me, um, rape me, and it was um, it was horrifying. At that age, at any age, you just don't know how to process it, how to deal with it. And so for me, it was survival at that time meant just putting it away, not talking about it, not telling anyone, not acknowledging it exists at all. You were in denial for a long time. Oh, yeah. A, a tremendously long time, um, 15 or so years, before it really just reached a point where you can only contain the pressure for so long, and you can only take something that's that dark and traumatizing and life-altering before you really just have to face the light. You know, it's, it's a darkness, but you have to face it if you want to get through. You were determined to face your rapist. Mm -hmm. How did that take place? It was a point that I knew in me, I felt like I had to talk about what happened, but in order to do that, and for me personally, I needed not necessarily the closure, because I don't believe closure exists in, in these kinds of situations. You don't put it in a box and say, okay, I've dealt with it, I processed it, move on with life, it's always there. Um, but I needed it for me, so I had uh, I went down to Wayne with my husband on a very cold uh, January day, January 15th, I call it my second birthday, and um, we went down and I, I knocked on his door and I thought, oh, I can't do this, my legs are going to give out, this is, I'm going to collapse, it just, I can't, and um, his wife came to the door and then he proceeded to come out. And I looked at him and I said what I wish I could have said at, at you know, 15 and 16 as a teenager, um, but what had taken all those years to say. And I looked at him and I, I said, I know what you did and I will not be quiet. You are no longer a victim, Jolene. You are a survivor. Survivor. I think there's so much power in being able to say, you know, there is a time and there was a time for me, I was a victim. I let it control me. I let it overpower my life and my relationships and everything that I did. And then you have to decide, what am I going to be? Am I going to let it rule me and in that way continue to give him power? Or am I going to be a survivor and move on? Jolene, thank you for making a difference. Thank you, Jerry.